Hey guys, Brent Fuselizzi here. Um, basically what I'm going to be talking about this video is something that I think is really important. Uh, it's not super serious or anything. It's just about heavy storm. Basically, in the response video to Asian Eyes White Dragons, which cards I would could choose to ban if I could choose three. Um, the three that I would choose would be, what all I said was Monsterborn, BLS, and Sangan. <coughs> and then at the end I added Heavy Storm. What they should have been was BLS, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm. Um, a lot of people say BLS really isn't doing anything, but he is so powerful, or it's so powerful, that it can just, it will just win you the game. And yeah, there's answers, there's bottomlesses and whatevers, and, you know, D, D prisons and torrentials and all that. And, you know, you, the argument that there's, like, so much back row now that it's really hard to get anything out is, like, isn't super solid. But I, I can see where you're coming from. But uh, basically, I've seen games where people get all back row and no way to protect them, and Heavy just takes it all out. You know, a bunch of, you swarm the board with a bunch of monsters, Dark Hole takes it out. And these cards are dangerous because they they kind of they don't need any. There's no stipulation as to like activating them, so you don't have to. Your opponent doesn't have to control anything. Your opponent doesn't have to. You know, you don't have to control anything. There's no, like, real worry about them being alive ever. And that's an issue. I think that's a design issue. Yeah, they might have worked before, but now they're too powerful. Lightning Vortex is really cool. I really liked Lightning Vortex as a, as a replacement for Raigeki and Heavy Storm. Um, I really like... Not Heavy Storm, sorry. As a replacement to Raigeki and Dark Hole... And I don't see why they couldn't just do that for Heavy Storm. So, if Dark Hole were to ever go away, we have two Torrential Tributes right now. People are playing Needle Ceiling. Uh, you know, there's two Bottomlesses. That's fine. There's three, uh, what do you call them? Compulsory Evacuations. There's three Deep Prisons. There's plenty of Monster Removal. Somebody said... Uh, no, we should keep Heavy Storm. Limit Mystical to one. No. There needs to be three Mysticals right now because everything's at such a high capacity. If they limited all the traps to one, then they can limit Mystical to one. But all the traps are at a massive amount. And this might be, you might go, well, wouldn't you want to keep Heavy Storm around? No, I wouldn't want to keep Heavy Storm around because Mystical's a fair trade. Mystical is a fair trade. It's one for one. Unless you hit a call or something like that, something along those lines, like a premature call, you know, symbols of duty, whatever, uh, you know, something that attaches to a monster and equip card that destroys the monster with it, then you're gonna plus one. But other than that, unless unless there's a sand can or something that gets its effect from being destroyed, but other than that, um, yeah, it's 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 a fair trade. Dust is a fair trade. You know, all of those types of things are fair trades. Even you know, Celestia is really cool because, like, you got to dump four, and even though that goes to helping towards helping your deck, it's still a fat cost, and you might mill four staples. You know, and you know, I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Somebody would mill like a Dark Hole, a Pot of Everest, a Monster Born, and an Evac, and it's just like that was the worst mill I've ever seen. You know, but like you got what you wanted out of it. You got to pop two back rows or pop two cards on the board or whatever. So, you know, like. There's plenty of backfield removal to where Heavy Storm is not needed. And I think that if they actually took the time and just designed a better Heavy Storm than Storm, or a better Heavy Storm than, you know, whatever, Malevolent Catastrophe, or something that people would actually play where it wasn't so ridiculously balanced that nobody wanted, wanted to play it, then there wouldn't be an issue and Heavy Storm would not be needed to come off the ban list anymore and all that jazz. I was actually talking to Galactic God, and I was telling him if they just cycled sets, then that would alleviate a whole lot of problems. They, then they could just decide, okay, you know, in this, you know, in this reprinting, Heavy Storm will be back, and we'll be able to play with Heavy Storm again for a little while. And then if they see that that's too powerful, they just don't reprint it again. You know, and that's that's it. 
I, I really I really stand by cycling sets out now that I've seen how it works. You know, as from playing Magic, playing Pokemon, playing all those games. You know, all Naruto. I I played all of them and they all cycle sets and it's just like it works a lot better than making ban lists because things become viable you need things instead of just you have it and it becomes too powerful you know and uh and i think that that's a really good design in a tcg so uh yeah my opinion is that heavy storm needs to be gone it's just my opinion i think dark hole could go too uh dark hole is basically the monster variant of heavy storm and it causes the same kind of situation where your opponent... I mean, there's a lot of exceeds that have the ability to where, oh, if it would be destroyed, it's not. Uh, my strokes and my you know, Zen mains, uh, gachi gachi. So, like, Dark Hole isn't as super powerful as it used to be, but if your opponent doesn't have those on the board, you're going to get the free hit in. And, yeah, there's gores and trag and all that, but, I mean, you're not going to have them all the time. So, you know, I think Dark Hole should go, too. Dark Hole is basically the same thing as every storm and you know we have lightning vortex lightning vortex is a thing we have you know uh deck devi that has like a cost and, you know and it's a little more powerful but it's a higher risk a higher risk with higher risk comes high reward and i like those kind of cards i like the high risk high reward cards and uh so basically yeah i think dark hole Heavy Storm can go, and, you know, we need better balanced versions of them. I mean, there essentially are already balanced versions of Dark Hole, but we, we need a better balanced version of Heavy Storm. There just needs to be something where you just discard a spell card or something, or, like, you have to control a card, a, a back row, to at least activate it, and then you lose a thousand life points. Something. Just, there needs to be something better than Storm. Actually, I think Storm's a pretty good replacement, but just people don't like it. They'll just play something else. But yeah, so that's my opinion on that. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the same amount of mixed reviews as I've got the first time I mentioned talked about this in the ban video and all that other stuff. But it's just nice to see what people think. You know, I, I really like to see uh, your guys' opinion on this kind of stuff. Because then it brings up points that I forgot. You know, like when I said premature could come back, I didn't even think of Miss Valley. And Miss Valley could abuse that. And they could, I mean, Miss Valley could essentially become a tier one deck if premature was out. So, you know, there's just little things like that that, like, you know, I, I just forget sometimes. So, yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should they ban Heavy Storm and just leave us to figure it out? Or should they keep Heavy Storm and you think it helps to balance the game? And so that's it for this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to see when I put out new videos, and thanks for watching.